Hey guys, it's Mr. Alec here with Island in the Sun. So I'm gonna play the final version, which is basically four of these. And then four of these. And then four of these. Okay, uh, I'm gonna play it pretty straight the first time. If you hang around for the tutorial part, I'll, I'll um, make it a little bit more like the video in the, the way that you usually hear the song, okay? But this is pretty straight. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to call these. These are the uh, intro chords, and then it goes to the cowboy chords, and then it goes to the chorus riff, all right? So here's the intro chords. much it yeah nice and easy nice and straight ahead okay so um still doing it straight you're going to start with these alternate chords this is an e minor and with these first three four chords you're going to just play three strings so you're going to play just three two and one so i got this is an e minor i'm going to put my first finger on the third fret of the first string my second finger is going over here to the fourth fret of the excuse me yeah fourth fret of the third string and then the fifth fret of the second string. You can see the dot right there, okay? And then you're just gonna do down strokes. Then you're gonna take your first finger and put it right up behind that fifth fret for the A minor and just hit the same one. And yeah, it really is best to kind of do it like this with one finger. I mean, I suppose you could do something like this if that's easier for you, maybe all, all three fingers. I mean, I don't see why not. You know, you could kind of go. Right. If, that, if you can get that sound, I actually think it's easier to do this, but it's kind of up to you. Again, fifth fret, cover all three of these strings here. Then you're going to go down to the D. Um, what I like to do is just keep my finger flat and then put this finger down here. So flat on the second fret. So I'm only covering the third and the second strings with, with my first finger here. And then I'm covering the sec, uh, third, and, third and the first string, excuse me. And then I'm going to cover the third second string third fret with my second finger oh my god tongue twister here so all right and then i like to keep it flat also because then when i move to the g i can do this because uh, with the g i'm just holding down these two kind of like i do with an f uh, right there just hold those two down like that third fret first and second string second finger goes on the third string fourth fret okay so put them all together and again it's e minor a minor, D, G, okay, E minor, A minor, you can also play just a regular straight D if you want to, it's, it's okay, and then you got to move your fingers into this position, or I suppose you could even do this if, you, if that's easier for you, and I'm okay, I'm not going to like, you know, you know give you a, a speeding ticket or anything, or moving violation for doing that, okay. So anyway, that's that's basically that's basically the verse there. Or excuse me, not the verse, the uh, intro. Okay, so four of those. Then you're gonna go to the cowboy chords, E minor, your standard first finger on the fifth string, second fret, second finger on the fourth string, second fret, strumming all six strings, pivoting, leaving this finger in place to that A minor by taking this uh, first finger, putting it over on the first fret of the second string and taking the third finger and putting it behind the second finger on the third string second fret and strumming from the fifth string down all right i think i'm going to squeeze oh oh yeah, that was a big one <laughs> so, so again e minor a minor all right 
right? And then D, first finger here on the third string, second fret, second finger on the first string, second fret, third finger on the second string, third fret, strumming from the fourth string down. Okay, look at that, there it is. And then you're back to a G, you can use this G, first finger here on the fifth string, second fret, which is a nice pivot back to the E minor. And then you can also use your second finger here on the third fret of the sixth string, third finger here on the um, first string, third fret. So that would look like... And then you could pivot back to that E minor just like that. All right, now there are other ways to do this. You can always play these two here like that. And then take them as a clump to make your A minor. That's a nice way to do it. And then your D is your D. You can also play this G. You know, and then do that again. Okay, up to you. Now the riff, there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, the, way I the way I teach it normally is up here, this is the eighth fret. Again, you're looking at the dots. Most of you guys have a dot on the fifth fret. So you're gonna to go to the eighth fret on the second string. So five, six, seven, there's another dot here on seven, then eight. So second second um, string, eighth fret, and then third string, ninth fret. Again, there's a, there's a dot there on there. And you're only gonna be moving for all of these little riffs here. This, this is an E minor, by the way, between your third string and your second string. So it's gonna be. Then where it says 10th, you're going to go ahead and take your third finger, stick it right there, leave this one in place, okay? And then do the same pattern on your strings. Three, two, three, two. Let me get a little closer here. So again, that was here. Nine, or excuse me, third string, second string, third string, second string, and then you up to the 10th fret, third string, second string, third string, second string. Then you're, for the D, you're going to flatten your finger right here on the 7th fret, again, where the dot is. 7th fret, hold just these two down and go 3rd to 2. And then you can add your 2nd finger there on the 8th fret for the G. Same finger uh, string pattern. Now there's other ways to do this. Um, let's see, so I've seen people leave this kind of flat like this, and then they would start like this. No, is it this one? No. No, it's this one. Here we go. So leave this finger in place, second finger there on the eighth fret, and then third finger on the ninth fret. So this is kind of nice. And then you kind of leave this one sitting here for when you go to the D. So watch this. So here it is again. Here's the E minor. Hmm. But here you got to use the pinky for the A minor. And then you lift everything except for this finger. For the D, and then you put this one back. So that's just another variation, and then you add this one for the E minor, add the pinky for the A minor, lift those three up for the D. Okay, so again, there's there's different ways you could do it. Um, yeah, that's what I recommend. Okay. Um, Oh, and then for the rhythm, if you want to try to play more like the record, the record is more like. Yeah. Now, let me try that again. So it's, 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 you're down. So down. So again, you're going to kind of pull your fingers up to get that stopping sound. I'm also kind of palming it a little. That's what's giving that clicky sound. That clicky sound. So da, 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 da. Here I'm kind of going up and then strum down up. So I go down, down, down. Whoops. Down, down, up. Well, I can't say it and do it. Just watch. So, so I'm going up, down. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Down, down, up, down. That's what I'm doing. Down. Down, up, down. And then I kind of go up again. And it's, there's kind of some choices there with the D. You can go up, down, and then 
do another up down or you could even do it the other around you can go down up down up yeah and there's even enough time to go you know where you could you could vary that so but basically it's a it's a couple of eighth note strums and that's why you gotta whether you're going down up or not i kind of like the up stroke a little bit because it gives that clicky kind of sound so yeah okay all right so that be that uh, if you have any other questions you know drop me an email give me you know talk to me whatever all right anyway have fun with this bye